people say, oh, you're young, active, healthy, you play sports, so COVID can't take you down. But it's like, it can, because it is. Former Louisville star Asia Durr is still dealing with the effects of having COVID-19 months after contracting the virus. Was it worse having it? Or was it even more worse after the post side of it? It's like here, it's like neck and neck kind of for me. Durr tested positive for the coronavirus on June 8th, saying around that time she had almost every symptom there was. A month later, the New York Liberty Guard opted out of the 2020 WNBA season to focus on recovery. But what many people don't know is how bad it got. There were so many days where I felt like I was going to die. Literally, I'm not over exaggerating. I literally thought I was on my deathbed. Durr says she has been in the hospital six or seven times. And there's another problem. More than seven months later, she still has symptoms. Nausea, stomach pain, stomach being weak. It's the headache, confusion, memory loss, fatigue. Literally feel like you got hit by a, by a bus. Durr is a COVID long hauler. According to a study, researchers believe about 10% of COVID patients keep experiencing symptoms well after their diagnosis. It's made her recovery tough. For instance, she's lost 32 pounds. She also hasn't picked up a ball on a basketball court since catching the virus. I mean, I've never been through something like this. But I know once I, once I pull through this, I know it's for the better and I will come out stronger than I was before I even had COVID. She says even though she doesn't know when she'll get back to normal, she's made a promise to herself that her basketball career is not over. I've been a fighter. I was born a fighter. Nothing will ever take me down. That's not in my DNA. My career is not done. I have plenty more basketball left. Getting back up after being knocked down. Andrew Chernoff, WLKY News.